So we're going to look at adding some foreign keys onto our role user table. And this just ensures data integrity within the database engine. So one thing we need to look at first, for a foreign key to be valid, the column needs to be the same on both tables. So we have a little bit of a problem here because in this migration, I'm creating an integer. But the primary keys on the role table and the user table are actually big increments, which is a big integer. So let's take a look at this. So I'm just going to control click on this. And if your IDE doesn't support control click, then you can find this file under the vendor folder, Luminate Database Schema Blueprint. And you see this is the method here, we're calling big increments. And this is calling another method inside of this class called unassigned big integer. So let's take a look at that. And again, I'm just going to control and click. And this takes us to where it creates a unassigned big integer. And for that, again, this is called another method and it's calling big integer. So let's just control click on that. And we can see here, so this is where it's actually creating the big integer. So it's actually creating an eight byte column within the database engine. Now over in our migration, we're actually calling integer here. So let's take a look at integer. As you see here, integer is only creating a four byte column. So as far as the database engine is concerned, a four byte integer is different to an eight byte integer. So we won't be able to add foreign keys onto this. So because this is our last migration we've created, we can actually just roll this back and recreate it. So what I'm going to do here is change integer to big integer. And also for the user ID, we're going to change that to big integer also. And a bit of a mistake here, just need to remove that bracket. Okay, so now we have that, let's roll back this migration and rerun it. So we can do a PHP artisan migrate rollback. And then we can just call PHP artisan migrate to rerun the migrations. Now that would have removed our relationships in the table as well. So we'll just run the seed again. So that's PHP artisan db seed. And that will refresh the data in the link table for us. So now we have our columns correct. We can now create a new migration and add in the foreign keys. So let's do a PHP artisan make colon migration and let's call this create foreign keys for role user table. So now over in our migration, this is where we need to add the foreign keys. So in the schema, we want the table role user and we can get rid of these here and we want to say on this current table we want to create a foreign key and we want to create a foreign key for the user id and this foreign key will reference the id on the user's table so that's a pretty expressive line of code so we're basically creating a foreign key on the user ID column on the role user table and it's referencing the ID on the users table. So now I'm just going to copy this line down. Now let's do this for the role ID as well. So the role ID column is going to reference the ID on the roles table. And now we can also add an action on here for on delete and on update. So I'm just going to do on delete here and I'm going to set it to cascade. So what this means is if the user is deleted in the users table, that delete will cascade down into the role user table and delete any of the data that's related to this user. And the same thing would happen for the roles. So let's take a look at that. So on the end, we can just chain on on delete. And on deletion, we want to cascade down. And again, on delete, we want to cascade so this is all handled by your database engine. Uh, in this case, I'm using MySQL, but whatever database engine you're using will handle this. So that just ensures that if you delete a user, our roles user table doesn't have a load of IDs in it that don't relate to anything now the user's been deleted. So it's just a way of tidying up and ensuring data integrity. So now we need to update our down method to remove these foreign keys if we ever need to roll back the migration. So let's just call schema create again. And we want to go on our role user table. And then we're just going to call, it was called anonymous function. And we're just going to pass in a blueprint, just like above really. And then we can call table. And we want to say this table. And we want to drop 
a foreign key off this table. So the indexes are named after the table name and the column name and then foreign on the end. So for this user ID, the column is going to be called role underscore user underscore user underscore ID underscore foreign. And I'm just going to copy this down. So again, it's the table name role user, the column name role underscore ID and then underscore foreign. And before we run these, I just need to highlight a bit of a mistake here. Uh, we don't want to create here. We just want to select the actual table because we've already created the role user table. So change both of them creates to table. So just one more thing to note here on the drop foreign key method. Not all database engines support it. Specifically, SQLite does not support the dropping of foreign keys. So for SQLite, you'll just have to drop the entire table. Now let's run these migrations and test them. So it's PHP Artisan Migrate. And you can see there it's now migrated and created our foreign keys on the table. 